Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my monthly favorites and fails for February 2020. We're already through February. February went through pretty fast, I think. January took about 100 years to get through. So going into March, my stress levels are through the roof, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, before we get started, if you're not subscribed already, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did that. So how was y'all's 2020 going so far? It's March. My lease is up for this place at the end of April, so I'm like dying trying to find a place <laughs> with bad credit. <laughs> it's not super expensive, so yeah, my stress levels are like peak for this next two months. I feel like I'm going to be super, super stressed, so let's go ahead and get started with the favorites. I'm going to talk about palettes first because I feel like that's fun. I don't know. Let's start off with the one I've talked about. I did three videos on it. We're going to run through it really fast. Bloodlust Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm really glad I did three videos on it. My first impressions got way more views than anything else. Um, but, I mean, it was fun playing with it. It wasn't terrible time. I didn't overwork myself too, too much. But I did five looks with it that you guys saw. And I feel like, I, like I said, six and a half out of ten. Not the best. Not the worst ever. But extremely big and bulky. And I don't know where I'm going to store this yet. Because... <laughs> I have no idea, but this is the first thing. I feel like I've talked about it enough, so I don't need to like go in depth again because I have an in-depth review on it. The next palette, I also have a dedicated review on it, but you, I keep it in the box. I don't usually keep stuff in the box. Look how cute. It's the Cake Palette by Glam Light. I gave it and bought it, okay? I could not help myself. This is it. <laughs> I have fingerprints all over the mirror. But it's super, super pretty. I feel like I love some of these, like, metallic -y shades. They foil on the lids so beautifully. They're so easy to work with. They do definitely apply way better with a finger than a brush, obviously. Oh, but they're so good. The mattes are so bright and colorful. And even the blues and stuff blend so well. Like, I'm excited for this one. This is really fun. Will I use it that much? Probably not. Probably not ever, honestly. Um, but I still love it. And don't regret purchasing it. <laughs> Alright, other palettes. We have three other palettes. The other one I did a review on. We're doing the ones I reviewed first because I feel like we've already seen them. Let's just talk about it. The Sailor Moon Collection. I keep getting asked if I'm going to review this. I already did, so there's a video on it. But this palette is super cute. Super, super cute. I do wish there was like a navy in here for like their outfits and stuff for Sailor Moon. However, the color scheme is fun. I think it's really pretty. I could do without this pressed glittery shade, which looks really fragile. Um, but honestly, it's a great palette. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really pretty, but I probably won't wear it that much either because it's very, very pastel. It needs to be at least one shade in here that's a little deeper for me, but overall, the palette's adorable. Okay, so next up, Smoky Glow Palette by Midas Cosmetics. I did a video on this, but Nobody watched it. I did like a three looks one palette video on it and that took me forever to film and edit and then it got like a, like a blip of views so I was like really sad about it. I was like it bummed me out for a while. But this palette, two of them came broken. I had to repress them. However, the palette color scheme, fun. I thought it was really pretty. It's okay. It's not my favorite in the world. I feel like some of the shades are not the easiest to work with. But I love the shimmery metallics and some of the mattes are quite nice. So again, it's kind of like a, mm, it's a pretty good palette, but not my favorite in the world. None of these palettes, I would say, are my favorite in the world. I haven't found anything like holy grail this month, honestly. Even on my favorites for everything else, not just palettes, nothing is like my holy grail, I don't think. The last palette is this Millie Rose palette. This one is called Modern, Modern Nudes. They came out with two palettes. So this is the one I've used. It is... Really, really pretty. Very, very cool toned. I just wish this umber shade was slightly more maroon. I feel like that would have made this palette a lot better. Swatching the shimmers, they're very subtle. There's not a lot of base pigment to it, but the mattes feel wonderful. So I can't wait to play with this more because I've just kind of like touched into it lightly. But honestly, the shimmer is kind of underwhelming. The mattes feel great. So conflicting feelings about this one, but the packaging is really pretty. And I love a cool tone palette. All right, so blushy stuff. Let's do like the basey face stuff. The little blush from the Sailor Moon collection. This one's Cat's Eye. Oh my gosh. So I'm wearing a little bit of this today mixed with another thing we'll talk about next. It's a little cat in print. It's super, super cute. This is so pigmented. So it's like a glowy blush. has like some little sparkles in here. It is so pigmented. Very, very lightly do you have to go into this thing. It's so, so pigmented. But it's lovely. I really love it. I think the packaging is cute, compact, easy to store. No complaints. Do y'all think it'd be bad if I ripped the sticker off this? 
to see if there's anything underneath. Because y'all remember that you had me a Hello palette. You ripped the sticker underneath and it used to be a Kathleen Lights collab. You think this is anything? Okay, I can't get it off. I'm not going to try to. I just, I was curious because there's a sticker on it. If this is originally a Sailor Moon collab or maybe the reused packaging. But I'm not going to rip this off, so... Just a thought with that, but I, I doubt it was anything else. So the Brain Freeze palette I got in the, the was it the Lucky box from Beautylish? Or was it, no, it was the Mystery box from Valentine's Day. I got the Brain Freeze palette, which is a Skin Frost palette. So when I had blue hair, I was wearing this highlight all the time because it's like, it looks white. But she's like, blue blue I don't it really does not show up blue on camera at all but it's a blue blue highlight it's a very obviously blue highlight but I really like this highlight for every day it's really nice it looks weird marbled but it comes off really pretty like it's a gold but it's not it's oh, it's really pretty it's not like a super super dark gold so I can wear it all the time for me the only shade I've been using recently I mean I've used that a couple times is this shade I used it today mixed with that ColourPop blush just the baby bit this frozen fruit shade let me swatch it for you. It's a beautiful shimmery pink and I've been using it as a light pink glowy blush and it's stunning as a blush. So honestly, these two shades in the center are the only ones I can actually use and look normal, but they're really nice. Conflicted feelings about this because I can't use most of the palette, but the two shades I do like, I really love. Other base face stuff, I have another blush. This one's from Laura Mercier. It's called Strawberry. Just called Strawberry. Really, really pretty pink though. I love the small compact. And this blush is very beautiful. Not quite as pigmented as the ColourPop one, but it's really easy to blend out. Quite enjoy it. Kind of a basic pink, but I don't have a problem with that. I like a pink. The other base face stuff. Let's see. We have another highlight. This one's from OMFG Cosmetics. It is called Playdate. This packaging is really adorable. <laughs> However, the pan, like the metal pan the highlighter comes in, flopped out. And I was like, hey, Adam, can you glue this back in with, like, your, your tense, manly, super, super glue stuff? Um, and he, I, I left the house, and he did that. And instead of the pan coming out, <laughs> the makeup came out. So I don't think it was structurally sound, either the pan or the makeup inside, but this is what it looks like repressed. I tried. I tried. It's a really beautiful pink, though. Like, it's a nice... A light shimmery metallic -y pink not too much glitter in there and I quite enjoy this highlight it's still beautiful even though I got repressed but it had really cute impressions in here before it got broken two powders I found this for a little more than a month but I don't think I talked about it in last month's favorite so I'm talking about it now the Too Faced Do You uh translucent radiant pearl translucent radiant pearl this is from TJ Maxx I believe it was 10 bucks at TJ Maxx I popped the cappy cover off because I had got tired of opening up this is a lovely powder it is very sparkly very pink so I mix this with my um, milk makeup blur powder just to give a little more pinkiness to it and it's lovely I wouldn't use it on its own I like to staple under my under eyes but I use a good amount of it under my under eyes mixed with a little bit of the milk makeup powder that's what I have under here today is this radiant one mixed with a blur powder from milk it's a great combination I really enjoy it it also smells great, but it does like one of those powders that poofs in the air a lot. I will say that. The other powder we got in our, I think it was BoxyCharm. I think it was BoxyCharm, not Ipsy. It is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. So, I love this, but not on its own. It, I do get a little bit when I'm like applying it. Just smelling it right now, I don't smell coconut, but when I'm applying it, I can get a little bit of coconut smell for me. I can't use it on, my, uh, on its own. It's stark white and very loose powdery. So I mix it into my Anastasia setting powder, and it's the perfect combination. It really is. The Anastasia has like a little bit more tint than I wanted. This lightens it up, and this is a very finely milled fluffy powder. That really does a great job mixed in with the other ones, so. This makes my Anastasia powder look a little bit less dry on the other eyes. So both of these powders that I like are more of a mixing powder. I don't use them on their own ever. But they're great mixed in with other stuff. So if you get them in a box, you see me TG Max, it's better than paying full price for them. I'm over here thinking I'm popular because my phone made a noise and it's literally Domino's telling me they have new deals. But we all know Domino's deals are always the same coupons. It's always the carry out two $5.99 things. Domino's, get better coupons, please. Anyways, the next thing is this eye primer from Dry Cosmetics. This is the Clean Cut Canvas. This is the shade Medium. They said they are expanding their shades for this. So, first thing, it's super messy. It's devastatingly messy. It comes like this. 
It comes already messy like this. It's devastatingly messy, but since it's a new product, maybe they'll approve that in the future. I'm going to try to like use the product in the cap and then not spill it so it stays in the bottom container because I don't like the cap being all dirty and it's too dark for me. But the consistency of the product, so if you can get over the messiness, maybe they'll change the packaging. I love how sticky it is. It leaves a nice base, like it has pigment to it, so if it comes in a lighter shade, that'll honestly be awesome for me because it leaves like a good base color down so you don't see my veins or anything or discoloration through it. It leaves a nice base, it's very tacky and is the perfect thing to pack a shimmer on top of. It gives it nice stickiness, but it also leaves like a, it is a clean base, so it's a lovely eyelid primer. I like this a lot more than the Anastasia primer because it gives you more time to work with it. The Anastasia primer dries down so fast for me. This is my current favorite eye primer. Other than just using concealer, because sometimes I do that too. Like most of the time I'll just throw some concealer on if I'm doing a neutral look. But if I'm doing a colorful look, a lot of times I'll just throw on an eye base. Other eye things, we have two glitters. These are like little liquid eyeliners. I only use liquid liners to like liners, liners to cut a crease. If I have a cr cut crease going on, I'll kind of carve it so you can see the separation better. And every day I do like a little bit of glitter right under there to get my eyes a little bit more brightness, look like a little more open and bigger. So I have two that I like. This is the W7 Hot Lava Mega Flash. It is a gold. This is the one I have under here right now, and it comes on this cute little wand. Sometimes this wand doesn't pick up enough product for me, so I have to keep dipping back in because it doesn't pick it up the best. But the glitter is really nice. It dries down completely matte, or completely dry. doesn't smear. Pretty good. The other one is from OMFG Cosmetics, and it is in the shade Priceless. It is a purple glitter. I use this in one of my Jeffree Star looks to cut the crease out, and I think it picks up the perfect amount of product on this brush, and I love how small and compact it is, because I'm probably not going to finish this giant thing for it dries out. I can probably, like, make a good chunk out of this go away, you know, by using it a lot. So I think it's really pretty, but I need, like, a, like a baby pink one from this, or a yellow. I think that'd be fun. The other things we have to finish up the video, lashes. So I have three pairs of lashes here. First one, fail. Fail you so hard. So when I bought the cake palette, I ordered two pairs of lashes. I read the paint red splashes. You saw that in my first look with the Jeffree Star Free Looks on palette. They're very big. And then I bought these. <laughs> and they didn't look this freaking full on their website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is them. And I paid full price for them. $12. But they had lash day the other day. And all their things were on sale for 6 bucks, Like half price lashes. And it would not let me check out. It would not. I tried two different cards. It would just tell me, can't process this right now, blah, 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 come back later. And I was very upset. And I was very upset. And I emailed their customer service and they're like, okay, so we see the issue. Just pay for the lashes. Send us your order number. We'll reimburse you the half because it wasn't lash day anymore. And it still wouldn't process. So I couldn't get my deep dish lashes that I really wanted. And I pay full price for these that I don't like. So I'm very disappointed in Glenmont's website right now. These are too big. I can never wear these. They're too huge. Some people may like them. This is drag lashes. And the style is Cameroons, in case you're wondering. Okay, so the other lashes, the ones that I'm wearing today, that I like a lot, are the Bold Face Lashes and Mega Babe. So I placed an order maybe like three weeks ago, and I've been trying to wear these, and they're super, super pretty. I love the big flares. Sorry, I just coughed a bunch, so my eyes are kind of watery, but I love how big and flary they are. Super, super cute. I like these a lot. I also ordered two other pairs of their lashes. They're alright. They're not a fail or a favorite, so I, that's the only ones I really love. The other thing that I ordered with the concealer, so this was my total Ulta order, is these lashes by Lily Lashes. And do not get me wrong, I really love the style of Miami. And I think I may have mentioned this in another video. But I didn't know these were Miami. It says, it's a Lash and Teen set. It says Lily Lashes Lash and Teen set. I didn't see any pictures of people wearing these on the interwebs. So I bought them thinking they were a new style. And it comes out, they're just the Foam Meat Miami in a giant case that I can't store with the rest of my lashes. So they're beautiful. I've been wearing them a lot. I'm going to wear them out though because this doesn't even fit in my like, little lash slot. So it sucks. It's really bulky. I could have just bought this in a regular container. I didn't need the heart container for it, but... I digress. So I have, I got sent a couple things to review, so let me talk about them really quick so I can do my review. So I have four scents from Good Chemistry, and they're all like 
very unisex smells you know you're not thinking a guy or a girl with these smells and I wanted to tell you my two favorites and two I don't care for too much but they are great scents it just depends on your personal preference so I personally out of the four like the scent marine mist I love a fresh clean smell this one smells great and I think you'd use it on a, a girl or a guy it doesn't matter anywhere in between it's a great smell and it smells very clean baby this one loves interrupting stuff don't you don't you <laughs> um, the one Adam likes the most out of the four is North Sky. So the notes on this one were citrus, musk, and this one is more of a peppercorn tobacco. He likes this one more. I think it smells like a barber shop or like a nice dive bar. Nice dive bar. And then the two that are okay but not my personal preference were Silver Coast and Copper Canyon. So these smells do last a while. They, they smell really great on the skin more than they do on the clothes. You know how scents kind of go into your skin. That sounds gross, but I'm, I mean it. So those are the two he really, uh, we really like and the two we don't care for as much. But overall, really great smells. If you're looking for someone both y'all can wear or you don't want like a specific smell to be like, oh, I want to smell super girly or super manly. It's great in between smells. All right, let's talk about some stuff that's like not makeup, just some stuff I've been into. So let's talk about TV. Oh my gosh, Dragula. <laughs> Dragula. It's on Netflix. So good. We watched season two, we're like halfway through season three right now, and I'm so invested in it, and I love it so much, because, don't get me wrong, I love, like, a beautiful, like, show queen. I love a beauty queen. But I love the grungy, nasty stuff, too, and they do some filthy stuff, and, like, the first episode of season two, I'm not gonna spoil it, because I feel like you can't spoil this. The first challenge was to chug a beer, followed by a Cenobite, like a Cenobite runway, and then they pierce them. Like, it's a bottom three, you get a punishment every episode, before they get murdered, one gets murdered at the end, that's how you get eliminated. They pierced them and stuff. That was really intense. Like, season two, episode one was the most intense, and now, like, I'm in season three, and the quality of the show went up, and I'm, <laughs> I love it. I can't believe it's not a season four for me to watch, like a binge. I can't, I need to binge it. So... <laughs> Oh, a fail for TV movies. Brahms the Boy 2. We didn't watch Brahms the Boy 1. We just saw 2. Adam really wanted to see it. We have like a a membership to the theater. Like you get a, you pay 10 bucks a month. You get like cheap drinks. You get a free ticket. Blah, blah, blah. So we did that. <sighs> it, was, it was so bad. It was so bad. I mean like 3 out of 10, I would say. The storyline kept... There was things like, oh, you said this, why don't you just wait and say it a minute later if you're going to explain it again. Like, it was so bad. It was so, bad. so don't see proms. I can't believe I wasted money on that. But, yeah. And then we went on, like, opening night. I think opening night was Friday. And there was only, like, four seats sold in the theater that we were going to for the late show. And I can see why. It was really bad. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other, like fun things you think I might enjoy watching or trying out makeup wise I would love to hear it down below thank you so much and I will see you in the next video guys bye